Audio 6.1. According to recent research, more and more people around the world are choosing to live alone, but equally, many people are starting to build and live in closer communities, in some ways, returning to a kind of village lifestyle. In today's program, we speak to two people who are living in these very different ways. Emma, who lives completely alone on a remote Scottish island, and Harry, who last year moved with his young family into the Lilac co housing project in Yorkshire. Emma, why do you think so many people are choosing to live in one person households? Well, the first thing to say is that it's perfectly possible to live alone and be part of a close community. I'm sure there are plenty of people living in the Lilac co housing community who live alone, aren't there, Harry? Yes, absolutely. It can be a great way of having your own private space, but not being completely isolated. You know, people are there if you need them. But that isn't the case for you, is it, Emma? Am I right in saying that you are the only person living on your island? Yes, that's right. Not many people choose to live so completely alone, but I have to say, I love it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I like people, and it's very exciting for me coming here today and meeting so many new people, but I love the peace of being completely on my own. Don't you get lonely? Uh, no, not really. I live on a farm, so there are the animals. And if I really want to talk to someone, I do have a phone, though. I don't really use it very much. And what about you, Harry? Presumably, you like being around other people. Well, yes, but not all the time. What appealed to me about co housing was that we would have our own private house, but that there would be other people around whenever we wanted, so we wouldn't ever feel lonely. And it's a very practical thing as well, co housing. For example, a lot of people in this country have a spare bedroom for guests. What a waste of space. When my brother and his family come to stay, we just book a guest room in the shared common hall. And instead of every family having a tiny private garden, though some still do, we share a huge garden with a play area for the kids. It makes it easier for them to make friends as well. It sounds interesting. Audio 6.2 One. Hundreds of people are living this way. Hundreds of people are living this way. Two. Most of us love the footpaths. Most of us love the footpaths. Three. Plenty of people live alone. Plenty of people live alone. Four. A lot of people don't have a car. A lot of people don't have a car. Five. Neither of us wants to move. Neither of us wants to move. Audio 6.3 Putting in extra sounds to link vowels. If one word ends in a vowel sound and the next word begins with a vowel sound, we often add a consonant sound, y. W or R between the vowels. Y. If the vowel sound at the end of the first word is E or I, we use Y to link the words. I didn't realize he would be English. I only speak a little Spanish. W. If the vowel sound at the end of the first word is oo, ow, 
or o, we use w to link the words. Who is living there? The class is now over. He wanted to go outside. R. If the word ends in r or re, some varieties of English don't pronounce the r, making the last sound a vowel. For example, car. When the word is linked to a word beginning with a vowel, the r sound reappears. The car is ready. Audio six point four. One. How do I make a P two P U course? Two. All the courses are open to anyone. Three. Users can set up their own courses. Four. So other people can see it. Five. With over a million members worldwide. Six. Leave it for another person to find. Audio six point five. When we talk about communities, we usually imagine a group of people who live close to each other. However, the fastest-growing types of community these days are online. Online or virtual communities are used to get people with similar interests together, so that they can share their interests or help each other in different ways. Many of these communities cross international borders. For example, book crossing, where people leave books for those who enjoy the experience of reading with others, has members in 132 different countries. Virtual communities can just be for fun, but plenty of them have a serious purpose. For example, many people who have a relatively rare illness. Can now get support and advice from others with the same condition, and of course, education is a major reason for joining a virtual community. MOOCs or massive open online courses are places where anyone can join in an educational course using the internet. Distance learning is nothing new, but being able to talk and see each other online. Makes all the difference to the learning experience. People in an online community may simply communicate with each other online, but they may also meet up face to face in the real world. For example, people interested in cosplay may use online communities to organize conventions where everyone can get dressed up and meet with other cosplayers. And finally, some online communities are more about improving the real community that you live in. For example, Street Bank, which is an online community where real-life neighbors can offer to lend things like barbecue equipment, or they might offer to help each other out as they do up their houses or gardens. The ultimate aim is to encourage neighbors to be friendlier. And to know each other better. Audio six point six. Conversation one. I hope you don't mind me asking, but haven't we met somewhere before?、Uh, I'm not sure. You do look familiar. Are you a friend of Nicola's? Yes, we went to school together. Ah, so did I. What class were you in? Conversation two. Sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing. It's your first day today, isn't it? Yes, I'm Peter's new personal assistant. Ah, welcome to the firm. I'm Josie. I work in sales. Good to meet you. 
I'm Sita. Conversation three. Excuse me, is anyone sitting there? Uh, no. Go ahead. Is it always this busy? Yes, I'm afraid so. You don't usually take this one then? No, I've just started a new job in the city. Audio six point seven. Conversation one. I hope you don't mind me asking, but haven't we met somewhere before?、Uh, I'm not sure. You do look familiar. Are you a friend of Nicola's? Yes, we went to school together. Conversation two. Sorry, but I couldn't help overhearing. It's your first day today, isn't it? Yes, I'm Peter's new personal assistant. Conversation three. Excuse me, is anyone sitting there?、Uh, no, go ahead. Is it always this busy? Yes, I'm afraid so. Audio six point eight. One. A person who lives in a place. Two. A building, equipment, and so on that makes it possible to do something. Three. Affecting the whole world. Four. All the people. Who live in one house? Five. Belonging to one particular person or group, not to be shared by others. Six. A change in opinion or attitude.